everyone. My name is Jay Sable. I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating the open source blueprints for sustainable and self sufficient teacher demonstration villages, communities, and cities to be built all over the world. And we call this process open source project launch blueprinting because our goal is to make everything that we do duplicable and as easy and as affordable as possible. And so uh, this is video blog number six. For us, I'm going to keep it really short because we've got a lot going on. We accomplished a ton last week. This is for the week of April 1st, 2013. And if you want to read the details, click on the link in the description and I'll put a lot more information in the, uh, in the written blog post about the same stuff that I'm talking about here, including images and everything that, uh, that relate to what I'm talking about also. So major things that we accomplished in the last week that are very visible, we've got a new CAD update and export for the Sego Center City Hub, which includes space planning for all the different bedrooms. We have uh, updates in that also to the social dome uh, plumbing or the bathrooms that streamline the plumbing, as well as some updates to laundry facility in that building, which will serve as hundreds. Um, we've also, the, probably the, the one of the huge, huge development for one community is completion of the layout for the Earthbag Village Pod 1. And uh, this is the culmination of two years of work and planning and reorganization and moving things around and incorporating the tropical atrium and the vermiculture bathrooms with traditional septic and how we're going to be able to move, remove those vermiculture trays and how we're going to use the gray water from the showers to help heat the tropical atrium and then run that water out of the village and do a all natural processing for that as well uh, and also some underground irrigate, irrigation of, a, of an adjacent orchard really really cool stuff and so those layouts are finally done and we are moving to 3D on that is the next step and then uh, getting together the materials details, updating all of our materials details so that we can really be clear on exactly how much it's going to cost. And uh, we're still pretty sure that we're going to keep this this village model, which is housing for uh, 67 units uh, under the cost of a couple homes for 67 units plus the communal bathrooms and showers. It's really a pretty amazing thing. So we've accomplished that. Uh, we've also got all the details that are done now for what we're going to plant in the tropical atrium, where everything is going to be planted in the tropical atrium, the details on all of those plants. That page is up and it's starting to be worked into something really beautiful. I'll include the link if you want to see a page that's under construction. Uh, within the next week or so, it'll be done and I'll announce that and share it with everybody uh, across our blog and all of our social media networks, etc. It's, uh, it's mind-blowing, detailed, and like, and like everything else. A massive amount of work has gone into this and it is truly really an example of what's possible when you set your intent to create something to really teach other people and share it in such a way that other people can take the information and duplicate it that's what we're all about so big advancements on that we have a new water catchment page that's been created and calculations for how much water we're going to capture on on that earth bag village to demonstrate that that village model can actually capture enough water to service its own needs just through catchment, which is very, very exciting. Uh, and then we've got progress also on the Education for Life program, which is uh, specifically the collaboration and cooperation pages. The research and everything has been done. We just need to create the pages now, as well as most of the research for the eight intelligences education model. And um, we also have the page done on communication is now done and so uh, the information sorry the information is done and we still need to create the page but the research and all the work that happens behind the scenes is done and now we just gotta make it pretty so that we can share it with everybody so those are the big updates and also oh, the other thing that we spent a lot of time on last week was uh, we really spent a lot of time working on the the highest good society open source portal and the pages related to that and we're going to start really putting those out there as well which is sharing the idea of how do you create a culture that is really designed on a sustainable infrastructure to free people to provide an enriched and more fulfilling living experience uh, that most people would consider to be superior to what's what the traditional or the, the standard living experience is right now and so those details have been the heart and soul of one community from its inception. 
And uh, now we're starting to really, really get those, those pages together, just like the physical infrastructure pages, so that we can share those as well and put those ideas out. So that's my update. Nice quick one this week. Uh, we'll have lots of fun stuff to report to you next week. Thank you, as always, for following our project. Thank you for following us on Facebook, our Facebook page, One Community Updates. Also, thank you for following us on Twitter, our Twitter feed, which is One Community Org. Of course, following our YouTube channel, please like this, share this. If you if you like what it is that we're doing, follow what it is that we're up to. And, uh, of course, if you really like what we're doing and you want to be a part of an elite team doing some pretty amazing things and you'd like to participate in uh, Highest Good for All organization, which is what one community is, consider getting involved. We're always looking for pioneers, uh, those elite individuals that come with skills and, and a desire to really make a difference in the world and want to be a part of this design process that's happening right now and then move on to the property and create at a whole new level and actually build all of this stuff uh, and take our open source sharing and free sharing contribution to a completely new level uh, with a strategy to become the number one provider of open source and free shared sustainability content in the world within six months. Uh, if that sounds exciting to you, consider joining the Pioneer team. We're always open to applications, and uh, if the idea of building all this stuff hands-on isn't exciting to you, but our project is exciting to you, consider getting involved as a partner or as a consultant or looking at our pages and just using our suggestions pages to help us uh, add to that or going through our open source portals and looking at our open source notes and adding comments and contributing that way a lot of people helping out that way and it means so so much to us really really great so um yep that's what we're up to that's our report for the week of april 1st 2013 read the blog if you want more details on this stuff if you want to see some of the pictures and exciting things that are going on with us and thank you as always from the bottom of our hearts for all of your support and wonderful emails and letters that we get we, we just love it and really appreciate it and um We'll keep doing everything we can to facilitate the shift that we know is happening. And uh, we're so excited to be a part of. Thank you, everyone. Have a good one. Talk to you in a week.